Yeah, here's a quick review of the um, my new scope. Bought it from Altair uh, Astro in the UK, um, Australia. Uh, it's a Starwave Ascent 102ED F11. Um, yeah, great looking scope. Um, just pan down here to the uh, box it came in. Altair Astro. 102mm 4 inch ED F11 um, Yeah, no damage, came perfectly no, no damage at all What I've had to do Rather than keep it in the cardboard box Is I built my own box uh, Quite labour intensive but um, And time consuming But um, yeah, it's got special catches Case catches um, Zooming in here at the end here, um, I'll keep the finder scope, 950 reticle finder scope, um, and the 12.5 millimeter reticle eyepiece for alignment. Um, so I build a you know separate compartment. The box is only 1,200 long, pretty much the same height and width as uh, the cardboard box. I made use of those foams. It's one thing you don't do, chuck anything out. Um, came with three bottom foams three top foams which go on top of the ETA. You can see them there. Um, yeah, fantastic. There's a metal lens cap it comes with. It's got felt on the inside. There's the EQ6 or AZT GDI um, instruction manual. Um, there's the Vixen dovetail it comes with. Um, no good. Um, won't support the scope, I don't think, and it's not safe lifting it on and clamping onto that narrow width. So we'll just zoom back over. I might just quickly put the foams in back in, show you the top of it. Yeah, so what I've done here, put a nice heavy duty stainless steel handle, couple of aluminium straps underneath, heavy duty hinges. Uh, this, this is fantastic, it just carries it without a problem, um, yeah, took a long time to build but well worth it. It's going back over to the scope now. It's all about dew control, um, I'll go into that in a little minute, but you can see here, this is a Lasmani plate, which is 75mm wide where it clamps in. 350 millimeters long. It's a lot heavier than the other one, but it's a 10 times better. Um, uh, just having that width makes so much, so much quick and easy method. Uh, I'm not going to drop the scope, um, and it's a lot easier when it's dark too, when you've got to dismantle. Um, I've balanced this in equatorial mode. I don't know if you're familiar with this mount. Um, Skywatch AZEQ6 GT. Um, fantastic, no problem, it tracks beautifully. Um, this is the additional thing I've also done, is I've put an alloy plate here, which is alloy angle, 3 mil angle. Attach the uh, finder scope base, or holder, um, that just, just, you just undo these two here, um, take it out and put it back in its box, it was, you know, it would be too high to fit in the box, um, goes in the end there, um, and the handle, the most critical part is this handle here, um, that, that takes the weight, I've got the, uh, I've got it mounted here, near the edge here, so that's where you've got more strength rather than further in, but that's fine, so all you do is you lift this on, lock it on here, with these two lockdown screws, typical Skywatcher heavy duty you know, fantastic. Okay, so just coming down here, I used um, all two inch eyepieces, except for a reticle, um, which is an inch and a quarter. It's got a, I've got a nine millimeter Morpheus in there at the moment, and that gives me 124 times. Um, yeah, fantastic eyepiece, 76 degrees. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Beautiful eyepiece, plenty of eye relief. Okay, so I've got 
more dew heaters than, <laughs> than you probably need, but still, I've got them on everything that you do need them on. One's on the eyepiece, one's on the finder in the right spot, one's on the front of the OTA. Um, these all run perfectly down here to three battery banks, which are USB powered. <coughs> got digital readouts and as you can see that one there at the moment it's on 88 percent so there's still plenty there um, I just charge them up with mobile phone chargers um, okay so these cables might seem like a problem but they're not because when I slew around which I'll show in a little while um, they just follow around. Um, I haven't had any problem with them catching, like the like the hand controller. Um, you know, if, if you're going to see a catch, well, you, you know, you just you just uncoil it a little bit. It's fine. Um, there's the focuser, rack and pinion focuser. Um, heaps better than the Crayford. It's got the finer, the goldy coloured wheel. There is the finer adjustment. Um, it's also got a locking screw there, you can see there, that locks locks the actual rack and pinion focuser. Um, it's probably used more for photography, um, which I don't do, I'm purely visual. Um, what else? Yeah, I built this tray uh, to hold the uh, battery banks. I've got all the lids open on these. Um, these are perfect, they're actually waterproof, so once you put that lid on, won't stuff up the... Uh, the Jew one stuff up the power bank. There's some cigarette lighter adapter. Move around the correct way. You can see the lights on there. That's powered up. Scope powered on. So the lid goes back on that, and keeps the Jew off. Here's the 5 amp 12 volt supply AC. And then I've also got one here, which I keep the um, extension lead coming into that AC adapter power the mount, seal from water, because that's what's going to happen when it's a dewy night. So yeah, all in all, and they don't get in the way. Okay, so I'm just over the business end of it. There's the hand controller. What I've done is I've velcroed the hand controller to the top here, and the holder just stays in the same position. Um, hell of a lot easier having it, you know, where it is than down lower or on the leg or something. It just seems to be the ideal spot. Plus it gives you more cable length when it's higher up towards the mount. You can see here they've improved the plug. It's now um, not like the old um, EQ6 I initially had about 10 years ago. Didn't have one of them. Um, got it all perfectly balanced. In Balance in um, equatorial mode, then then follow the instructions, and um, uh, I've got the counterweight shaft out all the way, um, and the five kilo counterweight on there, um, and it's balanced well, even with that heavy plate, the heavy Osmani plate, which is about a kilo. Um, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so dew control is important, and they just stay on, don't have to take them off. Um, the eyepiece one you have to take off, but um, when you put it back in its case, yes, yeah, really good. Slewing around now manually, you've got a rate on here, if you're familiar with this mount, that's rated, at, that's the highest it is, which is number 9. Um, you can see the cables coming around now, it's not an issue. Even when it's slew into a target, go to, that's the sort of, you know, that's the rate it's going at anyway. Um, well, depends on what rate you've got it on. There we go, up and down. Even when it's pointed toward the zenith, it's, um, it's fine. It's still, you know, you know, not on the ground or anything. Yes, so all in all, um, put that in properly, always catches on the bottom there a little bit, all in all, it's a, all in all it's a great thing, great mount, great scope, very impressed with it, 
um, for us, which is on, I said it's a north, so it's pointing directly north. I'd use a compass or your mobile phone.